to be for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel for the present time seven of wands and the five of pentacles now the seven of wands it's showing this man he's standing alone and it looks like he could be at the top of maybe the mountain the mountain top somewhere near the clouds really high so I'm picking up that you could be wanting to come out on top of a situation or just be the last man standing. Now, this Seven of Wands, it's about finding that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going well, you should be feeling good in your projects, they should be moving right along. Although you could have some regular moments of self-doubt, but just know that now is really the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. So make sure you don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. So this card is about being independent and thinking for yourself. Now it's with the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is showing that it's a time when life is feeling less insecure. As you can see, this lady, she's walking away from this door, and someone's carrying her off. And the dog is even barking at her, like, don't don't come this way. Because if you go backwards, or you come this way, I'm, I'm going to get you. So, it's important to remember that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. Um, so, you may feel alone. But you have the capacity to change that. So reach out. You could feel like you're being left out in the cold, as though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one that's suffering. Just realize that this is not the case. So do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help, is to go out and ask for it because the help you need will come. So basically, coming up in June, there's a situation or a person that you're looking to, like I said, be the last man standing with. Or just come on on top of a situation. And it looks like you could be experiencing some um, possibly mistreatment from someone. Maybe, maybe, maybe the person you have your eye on, they could be mistreating you. Or just not treating you the way that they should with this Five of Pentacles here. And it makes you feel left out in the cold. So, I know these two cards are kind of vague, but we'll get back to these two and clarify them once we see what the rest of the reading has to say. So, the person you're dealing with, let's move on over and take a look at how they see you. They see you as judgment and three of wands. Now, judgment, it's about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and judgments that are too hastily made and if you know you're prone to doing things like this it's a sign to slow down give things more thought and probably give people more chances that's what judgment is about it can be a time of spiritual awakening also so your person they see you as needing to offer forgiveness and stop jumping to conclusions that's how they see you or they see that you jump to a lot of conclusions and you don't offer forgiveness. Now, it's with the Three of Wands. Three of Wands, um, it's feeling like your ship has finally come in, come in. You're looking ahead. There's expansion and there's growth. Um, that's how they see you, looking ahead. Um, your finances are going much better when you get this Three of Wands. Like I said, you could feel like your ship has finally come in and you're likely to be feeling really strong with a good reason. You could finally be experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. Now, this could refer to work in an extremely positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts are seen, appreciated, and are well respected. So basically, like I said, judgment and three of wands for how they see you. Yeah, they the, they see you as, like I said, not offering reconciliation. You don't do enough forgiveness. 
and you your decisions they're too they're too hastily made your conclusions they're they're right away just automatic there's no ifs, ands, buts, or maybe. Yeah. And it causes the connection to be at a make or break. But they see you looking ahead. Yeah. You're looking ahead. And um, they see you growing. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. So you see them like the magician. And you also see them like the King of Wands. The Magician, it signifies new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in so many other ways. So just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself because the Magician is all about action so if you do nothing you'll get nothing and if you don't know what to do coming up in June just make sure you do something because anything is better than nothing in other words if you don't try you won't get so that's how you see them you see them with manifestation uh, something they manifested could have been you could have been this connection uh, they could have been strategic uh, the magician is also a, a, a trickster. But it's with the King of Wands. The King of Wands. It's a, it's a positive card in the tarot. If it's not representing an actual person, it signifies that men around you, they're supportive and they think very well of you. So you could be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and have the will to accomplish what you have in mind. So, this person that you're dealing with, you see them as having very caring and protective feelings towards you. Yeah, this person cares a lot about you with the King of Wands here. They're willing to work really hard just to make the relationship work. That's what the King of Wands does. And I'm picking up, you also see them with the Magician here, because it's with the King of Wands. You see them, they manifested you. They manifested this connection. Yeah, this is something that they really wanted. This person cares a lot about you. And that's how you see them. Now let's talk about why it's happening. You got the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups. Ten of Cups, whoa, that's a tops. It's not short of any cups. Ten is the tops. Everyone wants a ten of cups in a reading. One of the most uplifting cards you can receive. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a good card. It speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, and to the overall well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you, you're concerned about, your parents, siblings, children, pets, and much more. Also, being spiritually fulfilled could be a part of the picture. This is a card to see regardless of any question. So, let's clarify this Ten of Cups because it's with the Three of Cups and that's quite interesting. Now, the Three of Cups is considered a card of reunions, but it's not, well, Put it this way, it could be a, the type of reunion of running back into or meeting up with someone who's been away for a long time. So it's considered to be a very, very happy reunion. Very happy reunion. Very upbeat. It can mean also that there's a celebration, your own or someone you care about such as celebrating a new baby, wedding, or some type of happy occasion. Now, this Three of Cups and Ten of Cups is for why it's happening. Okay. So, it looks like with the Three of Cups, Three of Cups 
could be about a past person, a long lost love returning, a reunion. Yeah. So I'm picking up there's somebody in the past in this reading. So let's recap the reading, okay? Because I know it's kind of scattered. And we'll recap it now so that we can get the complete picture. So basically, like I said, the Seven of Wands here for the present time, Five of Pentacles. It looks like you're going to come out on top of a situation. But for right now, coming up in June, you're feeling left out in the cold. Somebody's not treating you the way that you think they should. And the person that you're dealing with, they see you don't offer enough forgiveness. You jump to conclusions. And they see you um, realizing that you could have growth and expansion somewhere else. And they see you looking for your ship to come in. And it doesn't look like it's with them. Now you see them as the magician... You see them having manifested this connection with you. They wanted this to happen. They pulled all the strings to get you. And it's because they have a lot of caring, loving, protective feelings towards you with the King of Wands here. But you want, you want it all. You want the end all be all. And it looks like you might have your mind on someone from the past. Maybe you'll be hearing from someone a long lost love because the three of cups is there or maybe you're reaching out to someone from the past because that's where you see your happy is with someone that you used to be with so yeah you think your ship is going to come in with this person from the past you're the person that you're with they see you don't offer enough forgiveness in you jump to too many conclusions, but they care about you. They love you. They manifested this connection with you. But you looks like they make you feel left out in the cold a lot and mistreated. So you got this past person, this reunion. Maybe you're bringing together someone. Maybe you're getting together with someone from the past. They're back in the picture. That's where you see your, your happy days with, with the Ten of Cups. That's where you see you can have the end-all be-all with this long-lost love. So they could be re returning in June, and that's who you want to come out on top with. Someone that you want to re reunite with. Someone could be reaching out to you from the past, or you could be reaching out to them. That's where your happiness is. That's your Ten of Cups, and looks like that's why we have this seven of wands here you come out on top or you want to come out on top you want to be the last man standing with this person from the past so this is turning out to be a past person reading and it looks like you could be letting go of the one you're with because they just don't make you feel that great too many times you had to try to forgive just too many times but they, they like you and they care a lot about you, this person you're with. They manifested you, Cancer. They manifested this connection with you. But it looks like they don't know how to treat you. They don't know how to treat you for right now. And it looks like it may be too late. Because you, you want to come out on top with someone from the past. This past person, yeah, you feel them to be your end all be all. So, Cancer, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. Also, I'll put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. So you in the next few weeks. So you in the next